if you want certain pronouns, you can have that conversation with me, another adult, we can have that conversation. We're not bringing little kids into it, okay? I'm not okay with this indoctrination being shoved down the throats of little kids. This is not okay. I don't care where you stand with Pride Month. If you're like out at Pride marches and you think it's the greatest thing ever. I talk about that in another episode with you. That's not what this one's about. This episode is about protecting children. Uh, the weak, vulnerable, young minds of our children, okay? When you walk into a library, I remember when you used to be able to go to the children's section and the kids could get anything from there. Like the worst book was like something that was just too old for them. It's like, oh, well, this book's actually for a 12 year old, not a five year old. You explain that to your kid, you don't get it, no big deal. Now I feel like I have to, and, and when we lived in California, this was true too. I had, I had young children, but I had to read all the books because I brought home a book one day that I thought was just about a cat and is the cat family. My husband read it and it's like, Cameron, do you know what this is? Like, this is filth. This is absolute filth. This is pushing a leftist ideology on our children. I was like, I thought it was a book about a cat. It wasn't a book about a cat. They were pushing something, right? There's tons of books like this. They have the ABCs of equality and they talk about, uh, there's pronoun books for little kids. And they talk about when their uncle comes and they, them about the uncle. And I can have pronouns like she and her, and my little brother can have he and him, but uncle, John is they and them and explaining all of this. I'm sorry. First of all, you're pushing an agenda. Second of all, that's very confusing to kids. It's very confusing. And when kids are little, you have to teach them. They'll be like, oh, he's this, he that. Oh, well, actually that's a she, she this, she that. And you're they're learning grammar, right? They're learning how to speak and we need to help them in that. We need to not confuse them more. So if you want certain pronouns, you can have that conversation with me, another adult, we can have that conversation. We're not bringing little kids into it, okay? Or the transitional unicorn who goes and helps other kids transition or these like elephant drawings where it's like they change every year depending on how they identify. These are things that we shouldn't be talking to little kids about. If you choose to talk to your little kids in your home, that's different, but a public library, a public library is a place where we go. It serves the whole community, the whole public. And so it's the richest of the rich, the poorest of the poor, the most religious, people that are completely secular and not religious at all, um, people of different faiths, Jewish people come, Mormons come, Catholics come. But we don't go there. It's not, I think it would be equally not okay to have, um, certain things that affect all of us. So it's like, okay, towards Thanksgiving, we talk about, um, we talk about, and I, I don't even know that you could do this anymore, but towards Thanksgiving, we should be talking about the found, the first Thanksgiving ever, right? And the founding and the um, Native Americans and pilgrims and the Mayflower. And that's fine to talk about all of that. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, black history. I'm okay with that. Unless you're pushing an agenda with it, that is not okay. Um, same with, um, I don't know. I, I honestly don't like the political thing either. So even though we're getting close to like, we're not right now, but if we were getting close to a presidential election, you can have books on that, but I don't want that to be the main theme and like everywhere, like all about Democrats. I don't think it's okay to just have a bunch of democratic books. And like, this is what we believe as Democrats or a bunch of Republicans and have like, this is national Republican month. I don't want you pushing Republican stuff on my kids. Let my kids be kids. Like let them play make believe, let them get a book that's about reading teaching them how to read and having words that are easy to sound out and pronounce. That's what should be in the children's section, okay? Wonderful encyclopedias, wonderful bug books, all about different bugs and caterpillars and worms and bees. My son's really big into bees. Let them just have a bee month. Focus on bumblebees and let it all be about bumblebees. Bumblebees aren't offensive to people. And if they are, they shouldn't be, right? But let's do things like this. Pride month, shouldn't be a thing in the local library. I'm sorry, it just shouldn't.